Hello and welcome to how to use the pixel and vertex normals. So in a material, you have access to the pixel normal world space and the vertex normal world space. We can talk about the difference between these two and how they can be used. First of all, let's plug in the pixel normal world space into base color so you can see what's actually happening here. So you'll see everything now changes to these different colors. And what these colors represent is the direction the faces are pointing or the pixels are pointing rather. And what you have in his case is basically at the top, if it's pointing upwards or like uh, like positive, it'd be more like blue, it'll go up. Um, but as you can see, it changes to the different variations of colors based upon which way they're going. So if I were to change this to a cube, you can see it's a bit even clearer. Okay, so you can see the blue is on top. Red is on the side here, green is on this side. And you can see they actually correspond to the X, Y, Z locations of our, uh, our world space coordinates. Okay. Now these sides are black, okay, because they're negative values. But if you were to say absolute these and put those into the base color, you'd get mirrored. So you get red, red. That's blue, it's in shadow, blue, green, green. Now what's really cool about this is we can use this to change like how we show something. So let's say I wanted um, this to be grass on top, but rock on the side here. So what I could do is I could have our two textures. And I have that one as rock. And this one has grass. And we can alert between which ones are going to be painted onto the pixels using our well, normals. So linear interpolate, we'll just put uh, the rock as zero as A, and B would be the grass, like that. And then the alpha of this will be coming from our pixel normal world space. So what I want to do is just take advantage of just the Z axis, because that's what I want to look at. World, world space axis, I want the Z axis. So what I'm going to do in here, is I'm going to do mask and component mask just the Z value, which is B blue, and we'll plug that into the alpha. And then what you get is grass on top and then rock on all other sides. And that's what's really good about this is because it's using the normals, if I was to apply this to a shape, so let me put this to here. And uh, we just change these materials over, like so. You get the effect that we're talking about, but if we were to rotate this, you'll see it apply it still to the top. So this is very useful for doing things like moss or snow that's falling on top of stuff. It's all very useful for things like that. It will always point to the top because that's what it's using, the normal of the, of the pixels. So let's say you also want the normal, but you don't want it in world space. You want it in a different space, maybe local space. Well, to do that, all you need is the simple transform vector. Or just transform. It's called transform vector, but it's known in the latest as transform. You put this in, and this is a really cool node because you basically say the source is coming from a world space, uh, but the destination is going to be in local space. So now you can transform that vector to be so it always points up in its local relative space. No matter what I do to rotate this, it'll always put that grass on top of the relative space of the cube. There you go. And that's how we use the normal nodes. If you like this video and want to see more how-to videos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can find all my videos early before anyone else for just $1 a month. Thank you so much for all the patrons supporting me over there and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.